Hi, and welcome back to another video uh, talking about the AK Cobra. And um, first of all, I'd like to uh, just mention that actually this car is a commission. Uh, I guess my last car uh, spoke for itself in attention to detail and the quality. Of course, always things that can be done better, always learning, always striving to do better. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I had a guy contact me and asked me to build a car and after throwing a few, around a few ideas uh, we came up with a contract and agreed um, on a sort of plan and uh, the primary reason for that is because he was finding it hard to uh, find uh, the kind of car he wanted more the, of this retro style uh, look you know roll bars etc and the color he wanted uh, for the price point he wanted so um, so yeah I was happy happy to do it and continue on um, basically doing my hobby um so uh so yeah that was uh that was really interesting and i'm really enjoying it i'm glad to say that both parties are, are happy with uh with how the build is progressing uh it's currently at the paint shop uh, so it left its uh left 427 hard tops having its hard top fitted uh very successfully and it's now at the paint shop and unfortunately uh it's been held up there and it's now not going to be ready for about two and a half to three months, which is um, pretty aggravating. Um, I'm not going to be doing my hobby for a couple of months. No doubt I'll get some more chores around the house to do. And of course, uh, the guy that I'm doing it for um, was looking forward to some summer driving, quite unexpectedly. Um, but uh, is now uh, has now been put back uh, a little bit. So never mind there. Um, it'll all happen and it'll all be worth waiting for. But additionally, I had applied for the IBA, thinking that uh, the car would be back with me after about three weeks. Uh, so uh, quite interestingly, sent all the uh, IBA documents off, just uh, PDF them all up and emailed them off. And within about uh, two weeks, I had an email back asking for, for my payment. Now, typically when they ask for payment, they also offer you your first date. I think you can only cancel two, maybe three times. So I have not gone back to them yet. Uh, the um, kind of uh, offer or acceptance of the IVA uh, is valid for six months. So I don't need to apply back to them just yet. And I plan to uh, just wait until I've got a better idea of when the car is due back and then work out, give myself a week or so to um, put all the shiny stuff back on and prep it for IVA. Um, and uh, you know, then I'll have a better idea of a date and I can go back and uh, pay, uh, uh, pay them and uh, we can discuss dates there. They're a lot more flexible, I think, uh, on, on the first uh, kind of booking, if you like. So uh, that's to look forward to. Now, at the end of the video, there will be some pictures of uh, the hardtop uh, kind of being fitted. Nothing uh, too groundbreaking. Um, unfortunately, I missed my chance to speak to 427 hardtops, but I do plan to reach out uh, to them in the future and um, you know, if they're agreeable, maybe I can do a factory visit and get some more details off them and make a, a half decent video in the future. So, uh, so there we are, it's uh, currently languishing at, um, at the paint shop and um, there's not a lot I, I can do about that other than uh, hoover the garage yet again and uh, make sure I'm ready to go for when it arrives. So uh, uh, in this video, we're going to be um, looking at uh, the prices uh, that I paid for things. Of course, things always change and fluctuate, but I'll try and give you a uh, good ballpark figures. I've got a whole spreadsheet of uh, kind of roughly what I purchased. Uh, I've got a breakdown of uh, all the e eBay purchases and from Merlin Motorsports and uh, Car Builder Solutions. So, uh, so do bear with me whilst I attempt to do this screen recording. And uh, if I forget anything, then I'm going to do a pretty harsh uh, cut and uh, wedge it in there. But uh, hopefully that, that will all be all right and um, you'll get some half uh, useful information out of it. So let's, uh, let's get going to some spreadsheets, etc. All right then, so the first thing we're going to do is look at the overall spreadsheet. Uh, now hopefully uh, you're sitting down. So let's, uh, let's just go through. So um, first of all, uh, way before uh, I had even really ordered the kit, um, back here, uh, I'm not great with dates, back in July, uh, etc. I got a handbrake, hunting around for a couple of decent ha uh, Jaguar handbrakes, uh, about 26 pounds. Uh, BMW E34 steering columns, uh, pretty hard to find uh, decent ones. 
I've got a couple for sale. If, uh, if anyone wants to reach out for me, just check out the website, russhowell.com. Um, so, uh, so I paid 260 for that one. Um, had a fair bit of rust on it and stuff. Uh, not, not terrific, but a lot of it ground off. And uh, of course, you can hammerite uh, the shaft, etc., the, the actual column itself. Um, so that's all right. Uh, but basically, um, it's good enough. You know, plastics are all in good shape and the stalks, etc. Uh, the ones I have for sale are absolutely top notch. So there we go. Um, now I've got to say, uh, reconditioned diff, uh, really good idea. I would suggest not doing the serviced uh, diff. Uh, I hate to say it, you know, uh, that supply that can be supplied to you uh, by AK. Um, it's not really an in-depth kind of uh, check or replace any parts, and you do not want to be replacing the diff uh, after it's fitted. So, um, so yeah, I highly recommend uh, getting a reconditioned diff, um, maybe from Simply Performance. Uh, ben that runs the place uh, is excellent. Ch chat to him what kind of diff you want, what he recommends. And um, that was uh, about £830, and they do really go to town and replace anything that needs to be replaced. And then uh, you've got to get on and do your order, and you can see here, um, uh, what's that, October, uh, I was uh, putting the deposit down for the engine and gearbox. Now, I didn't actually get that, I don't think, I'd have to refer back, but I don't think I got that until uh, the end of Feb couple of weeks into March uh, possibly so uh, get your ordering quickly now of course that might have just been the supply issues uh, that were going around at the time and it may be a bit better now now final payment so uh, so the total price uh, including the deposit was uh, 16,000 pounds odd uh, that was for an LS3 um, engine uh, the basic 430 brake horsepower I do suggest that you don't need anything more powerful uh the it's such a light car you've got 430 brake horsepower in there it's uh, it's absolutely awesome so that's uh, more than enough um now i think that price had gone up a good two and a half maybe three grand from a pre from the previous year so um you know get your order in there quickly uh next up uh, brass craft uh, they're, they're the boys to go to uh or chris uh, glover is the main man to go to for for your windscreen filler caps um uh so uh that was uh that ended up being well i thought it was going to be about 1400 pounds because the previous year it was about 1400 pounds and actually by the time i got that the filler cap uh, bits um i don't think i got any more uh bits from him uh, that was approaching two thousand pounds, so that was uh, that was a pretty bitter pill to swallow. Um, and then we got to actually uh, ordering the uh, the kit, so five hundred pound deposit, and then when it was finally uh, uh, ready, then they asked for full payment. So you can see there, I waited um, two and a half months or something. Um, I'm not sure if they're turning that around more quickly now or whether it's uh, that's the usual price. Uh, at usual uh, time scales, but uh, the total price there was uh, twenty-one thousand pounds. Now um, that is pretty much you know the complete kit. However, it's uh, interesting to notice I didn't have any uh, roll hoops included in there. So you know, factor in that. I don't know if that's another three or four hundred pounds uh, a roll hoop. Um, it needs to because they need to do do the holes in the body, etc. Um, so bear that in mind, uh, that ballpark price, if you want a few more shiny bits, that it, it will be more. Now, brake servo and master cylinder, uh, they're pretty hard to find, uh, it's, unless you go on eBay, and it seems the people uh, that are selling the majority of them are based in Lithuania, in some sort of breaker's yard. So um, I ordered three at a time, uh, and only charged my customer, obviously, for one, uh, just so I could make sure I had some some decent bits because a couple of them are a bit rusted inside or perhaps the actual uh, master cylinder leaks uh, slightly. So obviously that's no good. So I made sure I uh, fitted top-notch parts. Now, uh, aluminium bo bo box parts, you know, this is subjective. You don't need to do this, but I got some parts um, uh, cut for me from Aluminium Warehouse, £43. Uh, later on, I got them welded. 
Uh, here we have uh, basically eBay purchases. So I'll show you my eBay list in a second. And that was uh, nearly 200 pounds worth. Car Builder Solutions. Um, the, I will also show you the breakdown of that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's the main parts, the expensive things, you know, the heater, uh, the hoses and ducting, etc. So that got up to £400. Uh, then we go cash in hand for the aluminium box to be welded up, uh, £50. Uh, Merlin Motorsports, so that's an, that's an order of um, uh, the clutch uh, cylinder, I think, steering wheel, um, uh, and also, I think, harnesses, etc., so that's uh, that's a good six hundred pounds, and we'll have a look at what I purchased in a little while. Uh, wheels. Now these are on big back order, uh, and you can see also the price there. So uh, three thousand eight hundred and forty pounds. Um, you know, there's sixteen weeks wait time. Get your order in early if you have not got any uh, cheap build wheels for your kit, which I didn't, and I didn't need. Um, uh, the wheels arrived just in time when I wanted to start wheeling in, it, in, in and out. So if you want to do that sooner, get your wheels in early. A couple more eBay purchases. Uh, you never order everything that you require straight away. Um, and then, uh, finally, uh, the kit was uh, was due to be delivered. So that actually happened, yeah, first week of um, of January where I had the heaters on full blast in the garage. Uh, so factor in uh, delivery uh, of, of the kit and of course any other couriers that you might need or, or uh, transporters you might need to, to sort out for taking it to the paint shop. You might not need it covered to go into the paint shop but you sure as heck uh, would like it covered on the way back with its new paint on it. So um, you know, you can't drive it, uh, it hasn't been IVA'd at that time, so uh, you've got to factor in these extra transport costs and they will rapidly uh, get you up to about a thousand pounds, I should think. More eBay purchases. Um, so there I'm purchasing paint um, and some bolts and some brake fittings, that was 167. Uh, oh, there is, uh, and then I ordered uh, just some clutch pipe and fittings, I think, from Merlin Motorsports. Now, you need to try and limit all these uh, different deliveries because, of course, you're paying uh, for postage on uh, on each one. So, uh, you know, anything that you can save really helps you to spend money on uh, sh the more important shiny stuff. So, uh, it's a bit unfortunate that I failed to uh, order the clutch pipes, uh, etc., uh, during the first order and no doubt I've ordered from them again. Anyway, that's £71. Uh, back to car builder again. I needed a little plastic uh, flange and unions. Now, uh, AK, uh, they didn't include the bobbins for the rubber bobbins that the exhaust sit on on the side of the car. So, a uh, little bit surprised on that, you know, really you, you've got to remember to go through every single nut and bolt uh, when you're ordering from AK. So, uh, you know, you, you, you want to spend, or you don't want to spend too much more money. When, just when you think you, you've spent all your money and you're only going to have a few tens of pounds left to spend, you know, uh, all of a sudden you've got, you've got some quite hefty pr um, bills to pay here. Uh, and it's just when you're running out of money as well, right? So to have to pay another sort of £40 to AK to get the bobbins was a bit of a surprise, plus postage. Um, so make sure you get that uh, all squared away and they uh, deliver it with the kit. Um, and there's some, some other bits as well further down. You really want to make a decision on those when you're ordering the kit so it's all delivered with the kit and you don't have any further postage or any unexpected bills to pay. Um, I practically live down B&Q, more bolts and nuts and things. Uh, and then just when you fitted the engine and, to, and the diff, and then you can measure up and you can send off uh, your yoke and get uh, Bailey Morris or whoever to build you a, and make you a prop shaft. So that was £380. Uh, Merlin Motorsport again. Now I just needed a little short flexi lines to go from uh, um, the clutch pipe uh, fitted around the chassis and then it must have been about all of 10 inches to get to the actual uh, uh, kind of uh, clutch itself. 
so that's £64. So even these little things can cost you a lot of money. Um, unless you make it yourself, of course. That would be uh, cheaper to get the unions and make it yourself if you're able. All oils uh, from OP Oils, uh, they, they are excellent. Um, £130. Diff, engine, gearbox, power steering, lots of things happening there. Um, I don't know what other fluids you might need. Uh, brake fluid um, as well. Uh, that goes in your clutch as well. So uh, then I was back to AK Sports Cars. Really, they make such a slim, nice uh, battery tray. It does it does the job. It saves you doing any sort of bracket over the top, etc. It's really nice. So I went back to them and purchased that for another £71. And I wish, uh, you know, that included postage, right? So I could have saved myself another, I don't know, £6 there. It's unfortunate. Uh, more eBay purchases. Uh, that's up to £252. So we'll go and have a look and see what I've been spending the money on. Uh, then uh, we decided on the Smith's gauges from uh, from AK, so they sorted that out for me, just over a thousand pounds. That's fair enough. Uh, then I had a mobile welder uh, visit me, so he could sort out my J pipes. Um, so I held them in place. He tacked them. I took them off. He uh, welded them up fully on the driveway. Fantastic job. So I think actually he was about 180 pounds, but you know he did a uh, bob on job. So uh, there's a bit extra for him. More eBay purchases, up to £53. Uh, trigger handbrakes are excellent. They do some excellent handbrakes and some excellent bezels. So I put a nice bezel in the kind of firewall, if you like, of the car for uh, the main wiring loom to come through. Um, back to Demon Tweaks. Uh, I'd actually got the uh, wrong steering boss from uh, Merlin Motorsports because I, I got a different uh, steering column. Uh, so I think I got the E34 with airbag model uh, or something like that. So, of course, I needed a different steering boss. Um, AK Sports Cars. Okay, so back to them. I needed uh, some side vents and uh, the column bush, steering column bush. Now, I said in the video before, really, the, I think the steering column bush should come in the kit, be included in the kit, you know, pay for it then and there. It's kind of a required thing. Apparently, some people do make, make up their own, but uh, I think it's a, a nice, good-looking um, bush, and um, you, should, you should probably purchase it, and it would have been better if I'd purchased it at the time of the rest of the kit. Um, s and Autos, uh, these are uh, the guys, um, fantastic, they do oily locks, oily lights and uh, they are the place to go. So um, that was £755. Right, uh, back to eBay, eBay purchases, immobiliser, wiring, battery, some things you don't, you know, you don't know what you need or what lengths you need until you get to that point. So, you know, eBay purchases, fair enough, usually free postage anyway, so... Uh, but just remember about these extra costs. Um, back to AK Sports Cars, we decided to get the handbrake uh, kind of cover handle and the uh, nicer stalk end to get rid of the big chunky plastic uh, BMW stalk ends. Another £112 and the postage, thank you very much. Rear view mirror, £30 uh, from, uh, from Holden. Holden uh, got quite a good website, uh, more vintage looking parts sometimes. Uh, B&Q washers ebay um so this is not a necessary uh thing to buy for the majority of people um but because we're not actually going to inter trim uh until after iva because of their wait times are so long i had to get some cheap pleather uh, to put over the dash and i might even need to get some cheap carpet if i haven't got enough uh, for my rafters uh to put around the car so, uh, you know, that's the £31 that you probably don't need to be spending. Uh, I had to go back and get some clutch adapters uh, just to go on the pipes, the correct size. Um, got some mirrors from Holden Vintage, uh, 4152. Uh, they're very nice and uh, drilled them into the side of the car. Uh, eBay, uh, I got a different size radiator hose. I wasn't happy with uh, one radiator hose that was supplied by AK. So I just went and bought uh, the correct size there. Uh, car builder solutions. So uh, we'd made up our mind then on uh, the reverse lamp and uh, some heater hose and duct in. That was £73. And Europa spare for um, different lights 
uh, a wooden steering wheel and dash lights uh, all to be fitted after IVA probably we'll see how we go and whether I might actually put that on the next car or not so I'm not saying I'm going to change my car after IVA or not uh, that was 680 pounds um, steering wheels wooden steering wheels are darn expensive and again got some toggle switches for them 46 pounds now 427 hardtops I'm not sure if this was the actual price but it's certainly the ballpark uh, 4,300 pounds um, you need to talk to them by the way uh, because they may advise you to do the change the rake of the windscreen to slightly uh, to a slightly different rake um, so I think you measure um, so I think you measure uh, from the top of the windscreen uh, back to, to the back of the scuttle and I think it's about 20, God, I can't even remember now, maybe 26 inches, some, something like that, 36 inches, I can't remember. Um, but I think 427 hard tops change the uh, angle of the windscreen just very slightly so they, you might want to talk to them before fitting your windscreen if you are playing on a, on a hard top so that they won't have to fettle with it afterwards and you've set it to the right angle um, straight away. So let's carry on here. Now, as you can see, um, we've gone to ream machine for the paint. This is a ballpark figure. I'm not sure if it's, if it's actually that. Now, uh, it's going to be a kind of metallic -y green, no stripes. You would pay more for stripes, okay? So bear that in mind. Uh, ream machine are generally at the higher end of the pricing um, you can probably get slightly less expensive um, paint shops but uh, from what I've seen ream machine uh, do an awesome job and it comes out looking like glass so we'll see uh, leather from intertrim £2,800 here's the final price 66,519 of course that's not uh, including um, my commission but even with my commission um, it is less than a factory build um, so so that's just fortuitous um, you know factory builds you know the guys know what they're doing so uh, and, and you obviously pay pay for the privilege uh, and they take care of an awful lot of stuff in house. So, um, so yeah, um, probably worth investigating that as well. But uh, I'm happy to to build this car, and uh, and it's coming. Uh, yeah, uh, at sixty six thousand five hundred nineteen. Could you get that down any more? Well, the big ticket items. You could uh, you could go to a cheaper. Uh, uh, paint shop I guess and get a different paint job a solid color instead of a metallic or a pearl and that will definitely uh, knock a few thousand pounds off um, we're doing into trim this time now I think it's about 2,800 pounds not too much more if at all more now when I fitted mine I actually fitted uh, AK's trim so I specified what I wanted now I did go all out and uh, you know I had diamond stitching I had perforated leather on the tunnel on the dash because uh, it just lessens the harshness effect of the uh, kind of a, a black leather um, so I highly recommend uh, perforated it looked awesome and um, uh, had leather just uh, behind the seats and of course the the seats themselves were all done uh, however saying that you do still have to fit the carpet yourself so you fit the carpet yourself you're trimming it you're making up templates you're cutting it you're sticking it in yourself uh, try not to get too high on the paint f uh, on these uh, on the fumes from the adhesive. Um, so I think I paid around three thousand four hundred, if not a touch more, from AK. It was a good product, but like I said, you have to do a lot yourself. And as to whether that's worth it, now the big um, pro there is you can probably get your trim. A bit quicker from AK uh, than you can from uh, from somewhere else perhaps uh, into trim has got quite a long wait line time which is why we're doing the trim after IVA um, so uh, so AK uh, 
you know, is 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 a good idea for uh, uh, for for that reason. It's it's a bit quicker. Um, but I think if you didn't want the hassle of doing it yourself, and you wanted a really pro job, then into trim or another trimmer may be uh, the way forward. Anyway, so that is that is the final figure. Just in case you were thinking that you could pull uh, a kit out of the bag for um, £25,000, uh, I don't think that's really going to be the case. Of course, you can always get um, uh, uh, an older uh, engine, a donor engine, old Rover V8. Now, that is going to save you some considerable money. Um, I know, you know, you've got two, three, four, four thousand pounds perhaps, um, but you have the perhaps issues that the older motors come with. Uh, so I'm, I'm all about uh, modern engines and the power that they provide. I think uh, the LS3 is a terrific uh, model. Um, and uh, yeah, not really anywhere else you can save some money. So, uh, so good luck with your financing. And uh, let's have a little breakdown of uh, the other things that I purchased. So first of all, uh, Merlin Motorsport. Here we go. Right, so uh, you need these unions uh, here. Um, I can't remember what I used everything for. Brake servo hose, uh, that's the rubber hose. Um, I think I've got four meters of that. Now you only need a couple of meters, um, but I went, uh, I bought some for my next build at the same time to save a bit of postage. Uh, there's the steering wheel for 63 pounds. Uh, that's just your 13 inch steering wheel. Your master cylinder, your clutch masters, master cylinder for 73. And a couple of attachments for that. Um, push rod, clevis. Um, fuel filter for your, uh, for, uh, for your fuel filter, you need the insert. So it comes with a paper fuel filter. Uh, which will just crush and uh, get bent out of shape. So you need to swap it out straight away for a, a metal one, as I said in a previous video. Um, some nuts there. A uh, little R-clip um, to, to secure onto the pedals. There's the Super Sport three-point harnesses, £152. So you can see where the money's going now. And then the fuel pump itself, nearly a hundred pounds. A uh, little brake light switch, tenner, and the steering wheel boss that I got wrong uh, for, for for my steering column. That was sixty pounds. So that is the Merlin Motorsport stuff. And now we're going to have a look at uh, the Car Builder Solutions gear. So uh, you need a whole reel of uh, the brake uh, brake pipe at 14 pounds. Now the heater was the big ticket item here, 168 pounds. Uh, I got the Heat 3 model. A uh, bit of aluminium ducting. Uh, that takes, um, that, so that goes from the heater into the passenger and driver bay, so it sucks in clean air into the heater and not from the uh, engine side. A couple of plastic uh, bulkhead flanges to attach them to. I uh, got a relay because I got a relay on my previous one thinking I had I needed it for my Canems uh, <coughs> ECU. However, uh, Canems now uh, have done the uh, the relay in the kit for AK. It's all included and wired in so I didn't need that separate one but that was only £4.80 or so. Um, fuel filler for the back of the car £43. A lot of uh, fuel hose, right? So per meter, seven meters I got away with. I'm quite surprised at that, but I did get away with it and I had some left over. So uh, 142, however, do make good measurements before you measure. You might wanna just do uh, eight or nine meters to be sure. Little sticker that you need to put um, next to your uh, brake fluid reservoir servo. Um, and then, I got all the uh, LEDs for the dashboard. So they're 12, six, six, six pounds, six pounds. And then at the end here, I haven't got a price there, but you saw the price on the big breakdown uh, of the uh, LED fog and reverse and the little surround for it. And a flexible air hose there as well, just to join the heater up to the uh, vents on the dash. All right, so I hope you are bearing with me here. And now we're going to go into the eBay purchases. 
Now you do not need all of these purchases, okay? Uh, this is just to give you an idea. Um, and I'm not sure if I ended up using them all or I might have got too, too many and I'm gonna just use them on my next build. I can't really remember. So, you know, make sure you order your quantities and what you need. Uh, it's just, just to give you an overview of what I purchased. Maybe, um, you know, spark a thought uh, of what you might have forgotten um, for, for your build. So let's just, uh, let's just hack through here. Uh, hydraulic brake light switch and uh, nice uh, hose finishers for the engine base side, nine inch uh, earth strap for the engine to the chassis. Um, most of the brake servos that you get from this Lithuanian company, uh, they have the plastic uh, bit all broken off that the uh, servo hose uh, attaches to. So um, I found out the size and I got the correct size and I've got a couple of those I think. Uh, for my next build as well. Now I needed these connectors um, because this is the connector they use in the AK loom and if you remember I needed to extend one section by about eight or nine inches so uh, so I went through and I found uh, which uh, kind of connector kit uh, they use and I, and I ordered uh, these connectors so I could make that little extension. Now I use these uh, bus bar blocks, uh, bus bar blocks uh, on the back of my dash to attach everything to. Quick release terminals. Not everyone likes them. Some people like the, uh, you know, the, the screw in or the, uh, the the ratchet in type. Um, however, they're pretty handy because the terminals aren't uh, very easy to get to once your battery's installed. So I think they're good and they clamp real tight. So. Um, I didn't like the fuse that comes with AK for the fan, so I get this type because it's got a little flange on here that you can drill and attach to the chassis, stop it all flopping around. Little uh, uh, separator clamp there for my power steering hoses, just to keep them in a in a nice uh, line and separated, nothing's rubbing, etc. There's the um, fuel filters. I don't know what I ordered on uh, on the. Uh, Merlin Motorsport in that case, but um, there we go. Uh, there's the metal filters that you require to replace the paper ones. Uh, need some sort of brackets um, for your fuel pump. Now I left this on here. I didn't need this this time, but I did on my last car. I just got a, a separate one. I wasn't quite happy with the refurbished unit uh, one bolt from, from, uh, from AK. Uh, the threads weren't particularly good. I'd already been backwards and forwards a little bit. I just went and got another one. You know, 40 pounds and uh, it did the job. Um, there's some connectors for my heater hoses. So you remember I uh, changed uh, where my heater hoses go and they actually go underneath the chassis now and I needed to extend them. So I needed uh, four of these little, uh, little pipes. Uh, you need a isolator switch for your electricity. Uh, from the battery, I didn't get this one. I got a much better unit this time uh, that fixed uh, onto um, the wheel well, inside wheel well uh, in the boot of the car and uh, it, uh, it fitted a lot better and had better attachments, but something like that. Got a couple of uh, angled hoses. And then I contacted a guy on eBay that will make you these T-sections in any diameter and size you, you require. So that's a, that's a great price and a great service for £23. Um, I've been going off the Jubilee clips and getting more of these Michelor uh, clips um, because they're, they're a proper nut and bolt, right? And you can just keep on doing them up as tight as you require. <clears throat> I can't remember why I needed all these uh, high tensile 8.8 .8, uh, hex bolts. Certainly you need them uh, on your diff nose attaching the, um, the prop shaft and I can't remember where else you need high tensile ones are uh, probably for attaching the um, the calipers uh, perhaps um, onto the hubs so I might have got a few spares uh, for that and then a can of hammerite smooth black hammerite just for touching up the chassis in case you get any knocks or chips on it uh, not the first time you're going to see me uh, listing these button head hex head um, little bolts I use these to fix the 
brake lines, clutch lines, and fuel lines all around the chassis and numerous other places uh, to fix uh, P clips with usually about 20 mil long. A couple of places I might have got 30 mil or 40 mil, uh, but certainly my 20 mil are the highest and uh, most used. Uh, I've uh, painted the front of the radiator black uh, with this Eastwood car radiator. Uh, hopefully you're seeing the prices here um, and it's all big enough for you. There we go, some more uh, more of these button heads, 30 mil, 20 mil, th more 30 mil uh, bolts. I did get a couple of Jubilee clips just for some non-essential um, kind of fitting or things that didn't need to be as tight such as um, coming out of the heater and up to the air vents in the dash. You know, they're just uh, basic Jubilee clip uh, fittings, so that's all good. Uh, grommets, more high tensile bolts, and then all of your fittings and your unions for your brake and clutch lines, or brake lines, I think I've got clutch lines um, uh, from Merlin Motorsport. So you need a few of these. Now look through all these adverts because a lot of them, um, you know, give you give you things for free, or or you could actually buy your brake line and they'll give you some unions for free, so you might be able to save some money. All right, loads of P clips. Uh, sixteen mil, uh, I think, was ideal for fuel lines. I went up to seventeen mil for something. Maybe uh, maybe the brake servo was a bit a uh, bit thicker uh, a banjo bolt just needed a, a slightly different length one and I didn't want to have to pay the expense of postage from Merlin Motorsports just for that so I got free postage from um, from eBay a couple of clamp finishes uh, brake cleaner degreases everything it's really good I've got four there that should last me a few years there's my neoprene sponge that I used around the chassis before I put the body on top of it uh, poor 15, really expensive, probably the best you can get. Uh, so I've got some black heat resistant paint for anywhere near where the uh, exhausts were coming, exiting through the body, where I had to paint uh, underneath the wheel, wheel wells, etc. And then um, got a few meters of this. How much did I get? Uh, I can't tell how much I got. 40 millimeter squared, 300 amp. Uh, uh, cable came with some free um, fixings there, so look out for that. Now I just got red. You only need a short length of uh, of black, and you can just uh, cover it in uh, black masking tape, right? So there's no need to get two different colours if you don't want to waste. Uh, if you don't want to waste any um, more sponge, because I ran out. Now I attempted to get some cheap um, brake server hose, but you know what? This silicon stuff just collapsed and didn't hold its shape very well. I think this was actually going from the air intake at the front of the engine to uh, to a section at the back of the engine, so not actually for my brake servo, um, but it just collapsed and it creased and didn't hold its shape, so that was a really bad purchase. Uh, so get some thicker, better stuff. Uh, there's my Munson ring that I used at the bottom of the engine to hold on uh, a water pipe running under, underneath the chassis. So that's really good. Heat reflective shield uh, at £65. So that's all, all the way around uh, the bottom of, uh, of, uh, of the body of the engine bay. This was a black nylon joiner. Uh, that was um, so I could uh, bleed air out of my heater pipes. So that just uh, was going in in between some heater pipes up behind uh, the heater. Bit of very high temperature uh, spray. Uh, that's good for, you know, around the front of the nose on the inside, obviously, of, of the car. Um, pretty good um, any, anywhere where it's gonna get hot. Uh, and uh, just sprayed, uh, just, just, just helps color any areas where you know perhaps the the fiberglass is looking a bit clear or it's not a uniform black color so that's good tiger seal fantastic use that everywhere uh, for sealing all uh, all the wheel arches underneath and make sure there's no gaps uh, that can let to sort of um, any moisture through into the um, into the boot etc more button head screws uh, so I did have a leaking master cylinder and um, 
from from uh, Lithuania and I ended up buying another one that got a good price there for 24 pounds luckily from the UK uh, more uh, high tensile bolts bit of primer before all that uh, fiberglass paint you stick some primer on first and uh, you'll get a much better finish more Michelar, Michelor hose clamps a whole pack of uh, heat shrink tubing hopefully that'll do me for the next couple of builds these are excellent uh, wiring connectors waterproof got them all around the car uh, lets you connect everything real quickly disconnect everything which is great when you need to send it off to paint and you need to actually remove all the shiny stuff and the lights and everything else so I highly recommend the, those and get a good crimping tool and uh, it'll change your life now this is interesting you do need an immobilizer so I got uh, the recommended one from uh, AK now last year this only cost me 35 pounds uh, this year I couldn't get one for uh, for less than 70, 73 pounds so <clears throat> prices are definitely on their way up plenty of split loom uh, conduit um, got this little kit here uh, some more connectors uh, got these Binks nuts for keeping the exhaust uh, flanges attached to uh, the J pipes or the J pipes attached to the manifolds uh, you can't use nine locks you'll just get a molten mass of, uh, of plastic so you probably need some kind of locking nut or regular regular nuts get two in there and lock them up again uh, together and just check them regularly um, okay for the windscreen washers you need uh, some hose and some connectors this came as a little kit great nine pounds uh, you need a one-way little valve in there a couple of quid uh, the recommended battery type 75 Bosch uh, car battery uh, 75 pounds and this by the way is kind of the order I was uh, progressing in the build so that obviously I got to a stage there where I needed the battery and I could test lights and you know test the electrics etc um, so you don't need a battery uh, right at the start of the build just languishing in a garage going flat for three months or however long um, you know you can you can order it at the end just remember that you do need to buy one and have all these extra <coughs> expenditures uh, washer jets horns you know all these things can just catch you out you're like oh my god all of a sudden I need uh, you know a horn uh, this is a one-way valve for the brake servo and that that is it so uh, so hopefully um, that gave you some idea of what I've purchased why I've purchased it uh, you can go back through here see my eBay purchases and uh, kind of what I purchased at the time um, and uh, all the car builder solutions thing uh, things as well so uh, so there you go I hope that gave you uh, a bit of an insight uh, how much uh, one of these cars could cost you you could save some thousands of pounds but it's still going to be uh, right up there now uh, let's move on okay so hopefully you found some of that interesting and uh, maybe even a bit of an eye-opener uh, join me again for some more videos uh, obviously in two and a half to three months we'll be back on track with the build videos and getting the car uh, back here fully painted and uh, getting it prepped for its IVA so we'll uh, we'll have a good video then and in between I do hope to uh, get some new videos out to you maybe of uh, some factory visits it'd be great to uh, go and talk to the proprietors and the people that work at these places uh, just to show you know uh, the inner workings of uh, maybe the hard top place or AK sports cars even and uh, you know talk to uh, everyone there and see what kind of services they can they can provide and uh, what they can what kind of uh, uh, things they can do for you so uh, join me for those I may even uh, put out a video of uh, how to use those newfangled tools that you've got and how to do a decent brake brake flare etc so uh, we'll see you again